what's up everybody it's Amaya so today's video is going to be all about my favorite lip colors for summer some of these I haven't been able to wear in the summer yet but they're ones that I'm excited to wear in the summer and then some of them are ones that I have worn throughout past summers and I love I think they're fantastic and I'm gonna show them all to you I'm gonna be swatching on my hand and not on my lips only because my lips are very pigmented and so I feel like colors don't show up on me the way they will on a lot of other people because my lips are so pigmented. So I'm just gonna be swatching on my hands so you can see the true color. I have lip glosses, lipsticks, um, liquid lipsticks. I have literally everything here. So yeah, we might as well just hop right into it. I'm gonna start out with nudes just because we're all from lightest to darkest in typical swatch fashion. So the first one I wanna mention is one of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suits and this is in the shade Nudist peach so this is such a pretty shade because it's like that perfect peachy nude the only thing about this one that I don't like is that it's very streaky so this I would definitely recommend wearing with a lip liner but I actually don't mind that it's that streaky because I wore this when I was on vacation and I would just put like a lip balm on my lips kind of dry them off a little bit and then just kind of swipe this on and rub it in with my finger and it just created the nicest like peachy sort of wash on my lips so I liked using it as that but you could probably build it up and get it opaque um, I have gotten it pretty opaque but it can be a little streaky so that's the only thing that I don't love about this one the rest of the formulas of the liquid cat suits of the ones that I've tried haven't been like this but this one has so that's just a warning letting you know but I like wearing it um, as a light wash anyway, so I don't mind that it's a little bit streaky because I'll just kind of make it work, you know what I mean? The next one we have is Ofra's Bel Air. So Ofra has some of the best nudes that you can get on the liquid lipstick market, and I just think this one is so pretty because it's nice and light, but does have a little bit of like a peachy pink to it, so it's not too tan because I find that a lot of nudes that are like summer appropriate nudes look really pretty when you have nice tan skin but they're really light it's a like I said it has like more of like a peachy sort of pink to it where it's not just straight like nude I do like the formula on the Ofra liquid lipsticks they're not my favorite um, but I think that they are really good next I have a lip gloss and this is from Colourpop and it is in the shade tight fit this is one of their metallic glosses this is just so gorgeous it's literally like the perfect gold pink sort of duochrome gloss oh my god take this lip gloss and put it over like a light nude lipstick and like you just have some mascara on some bronzer highlighter oh my god it'd be stunning just the perfect like glowing goddess sort of lip color and I just I just really like it I love that it also has that like pink duochrome because it looks like gold at first but then you look at it and you're like no it's pink no it's gold no it's kind of purpley pink it's just so stunning the next one is from Milani and this is also a lip gloss this is in the shade luminous and this is a um, luminizing lip gloss but it's very different because it's more of like a pink gold it looks like NARS's orgasm blush but in a lip gloss form so this one's really pretty um, the difference between these two glosses is this one's definitely more gold with a pink duochrome and this one is pink with a gold duochrome does that make sense so this one's like has a gold base and it has like those pink little sparkly shifts and this one is like a pink with some gold in it and this one will look so gorgeous again like a nice tan some lashes this one is super stunning and it's also not as pigmented as this guy right here so that's another thing if you want just sort of like a nice shimmery wash this one is absolutely gorgeous and does give your lips a little bit of color so they don't look too like nude next I'm gonna go with a lipstick this is hotline matte X lipstick from um, Colourpop and I mentioned this in a video before and I just wanted to mention a nice nude lipstick that I really like and the reason why I like this one for summer is because the matte X formula will literally not budge um, they are quite drying if you have a dry lips and I've mentioned that before but the one thing that I do like about these is that they don't budge even though they're a little drying, this you can put on and it will probably almost be like a liquid lipstick, almost sweat proof, everything like that. So if you don't want a um, liquid lipstick to wear, but you do want something nude and that is going to stay, I really recommend this guy. And also the color is like a nice um, brown peach. It's like a darkened brownie peach, so it's not so light. It's a little bit more dark, so for those of you that want something that's like neutral but not super duper nude this one is really nice I think it looks really pretty it almost has like a reddish sort of undertone so I think it'll really bring out that sort of tan and just your bronzy oh 
so gorgeous. Okay, the next one that I want to mention is another lipstick, and this is from Revlon. This is in the shade Smoked Peach. This is one of their matte, um, super lustrous lipsticks. So this is what it looks like. This is like a true peach. It's like a salmon-y, orangey sort of peach. Just absolutely stunning. This lipstick paired with this lip gloss, done. I'm done. It would just look absolutely stunning. So this is really nice for those of you that want a true sort of peachy color. It's kind of similar to um, the Nudist Peach from Wet n Wild, but I would say this one has a little bit more orange in it. So that's, that's how I want to describe it. If you guys want a little bit more of an orangey lipstick, then I would definitely go with this one. Next, I'm going to go with a lip gloss, and this is from Neutrogena. This is their Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine, and this is in the shade Radiant Rose. This I love so much because it's the perfect no makeup head to the beach sort of lip color. It'll give your lips that nice pinky sort of shine without making them look like they have like too much lip gloss or they, it doesn't feel like you have anything on. It really is hydrating and beautiful. It says lips look and feel hydrated for 24 hours. I think that's great and I really do agree with that. I think it looks really pretty and this is something that I will use if I'm just have like mascara, bronzer, a little bit of concealer maybe. I just want to swipe something on just so I have something on my lips. I will use this because it just looks so beautiful and I also really love the application because look how fat it is. It just swipes over your lips so nicely. Ugh, it's really beautiful. Next I'm going to go with a lipstick. This is the Clinique Punch Pop Lipstick and I just love this because it's such a beautiful hot pink. This is a tiny size um, but it's so beautiful. Like look at that. This with like a tan and like a nice like shimmery eye. I don't know. I would look so beautiful with so many looks. You could literally throw on lashes, foundation. You could do like full glam with just some lashes and this. It would look stunning. You could wear like no makeup and this and it would look stunning. It's just a really versatile pink because it's not too warm um, and it's not too cool tone either. It's kind of right in the middle and it definitely has a like bright fuchsia sort of color and I really like it. Next I'm going to go with the color that I'm actually wearing right now and this is the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Venice. This is like an orangey red sort of color. I really like this. I think it's beautiful. When I was putting it on I was noticing it was a little bit more patchy but I think it's just because I haven't like used it. I gotta kind of like shake it up. Um, but it is a really pretty color. Um, this I got in a little like quad set um, so that's why it's smaller but like I said it's a gorgeous color for those of you that have like tan skin maybe like yellowy undertones this will look absolutely stunning but if you do want that sort of bright orangey red which seems to always be on trend oh, so gorgeous it's like nice and spicy but it doesn't have too much orange in it where it looks unwearable like I feel like I could totally go out like this and feel totally comfortable and confident like and I like my nudes, so I feel really confident in this lip color, so I think you will too. Getting towards the end here, I only have two left, and the first one is the ColourPop Ultra Satin in the shade London Fog. Oh, this lip color literally made me fall in love with it the first time I saw it on the website, and I just had to have it. It is that, like, pinky red. Oh my god, stunning! It literally is a pinky red red. When you put it on, it looks a little bit more red and dark, uh, but in the bottle it looks a bit, little bit more pink. It's just so bright and it's different. You could totally wear this as like a red, but it's going to be different. It's going to be summery. It's going to be nice and bright without being orangey. So if you're not someone that likes like the orangey colors, but you still want a summery red, I would totally go for this because it does have that more pink as opposed to that more orangey color. So. so the last one is just how we started with a liquid cat suit and this is in the shade Nice to Fuchsia. Nice to fuchsia. Nice to fuchsia. I don't get the name. Again, and this is the same sort of applicator that I love, except this one's actually really pretty. It's a nice, like, purpley fuchsia. If you want to go a little bit darker with your lip, but you still want it to be summery, I would totally go with something like this because it has that nice pink and it is bright, but it's also a little bit more dark, a little bit more vampy if you do want that sort of look for a summery, smoky eye or, like I said, these colors honestly will all look beautiful with like no makeup or like a little bit of makeup and some lashes. All these lip colors would honestly work so good with that because I feel like that's a good summer look. So that's kind of a good thing about all of these is they really will go with pretty much any makeup. And this one is no exception. It's just it's so beautiful. And it's from the drugstore. So that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys like it. Please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Let me know some of your suggestions for lip colors. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.
Hey, what's up everybody? It's Amaya. So today's video is going to be my Ipsy versus Birch Box epic makeup 